Welcome to the Temple of Speed in Monza, Italy. We start off at the very beginning with our pole setter Chip Reese being challenged right away by Sassafras. This is that going to be other Chip Reese doing a fuel saving strategy which worked the last race. Let's see if it pays off even as he loses his top spot to both Hashi and Sass. Let's look at it again from another angle. Sass takes the inside, Chip Reese leaves room, and Hashi sneaks right in to take the spot. We rejoin later in the lap as S. Alvarez is right behind Chip Reese, coming to the Parabolica, the final turn sequence in Monza. S. Alvarez takes the inside, Chip Reese staying out. Who's gonna break later? Oh, a slight bit of contact. Still fair play though, as S. Alvarez takes off down the inside. We see Aaron Greer also applying some pressure. The three are together, a little bump, as they're heading into their Primera Variante. These are timing up. Who's gonna break last? Who went up taking this corner? Aaron gets past Chip Reese. S. Alvarez takes the corner first. Aaron Greer goes through. Chip Reese falling back again, followed by Lucid Wolf. Staying on map two, we join Hashi and Sassafras fighting it out down the straight, heading into the Variante Scotti. Hashi easily getting past as they head into the turns, taking the top spot. Still on lap two, heading into three, we have Aaron Greer chasing down S. Alvarez down the straight, heading into Primera Variante. Aaron gets by S. Alvarez, heading back onto the racing line, hitting his brakes. Doesn't outbreak himself, thankfully, and leads into that third spot. Onto lap four, we're now following Hashi Brown. Heading into the first section. Oh, he loses it. Letting Sassafras go through and take the first spot. Now, later on the lap, we see Hashi chasing down Sassafras as he's serving a penalty heading into the Parabolica. Taking the inside, easy pass. Hash takes the top spot again. Hash and Sassafras still battling away. Sass takes the inside line on Ascari. Taking the top spot away again. Heading around to lap seven. Heading into the first turn again. Sass and Hash fighting it out. Sass going a little wide. Hash sticking on the inside, getting by him once again. Moving forward to lap eight. We join Hash and Aaron Greer Hash taking the inside on the Parabolica. Then on lap 10, we have Sassafras chasing down Aaron Greer again. Also heading into the Parabolica, taking the inside. After a nice little toe on the straight. Aaron Greer, I believe, was on mediums for that stint, while Sassafras was on softs. The two are racing each other down the front street. Going side by side. Oh, S. Alvarez coming out of the pit. And holding on to that second spot, Sass staying in third, S. Alvarez getting into the fourth position after refueling. Sassafras, oh, goes way out of line on lap 15. Oh my God, that is dangerous driving there from the racer. Thankfully, does not affect Chip Reese's race. That could have been tragic. We join later in lap 15. Sassafras taking the inside on Chip Reese. Ooh, he goes a little wide there. Avoiding Sass, some courteous driving from Chip Reese. 
But Sass taking advantage, going on the outside of that straight chip, we still, unfortunately, being affected by his fuel saving strategy. And that's it, our race winner, S. Alvarez. Second, Hashi. Third, Sass. Fourth, Aaron Greer, Chip Reese, and Lucid Wolf. Thank you, everyone, once again for joining us for ZGL American Racing Club. Please join our Discord. Link will be below. Thank you very much. From all of us at ZGL, see you next race at Grand Valley Highway Route 1. Until then.